Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Hello? Boss, <laughs> I'm fine. How now? Eh, what is it? Ah! Are you serious? You get admission? Ah! Oh my god! This is good news. Hmm, my friend, so you you're now an undergraduate. <laughs> Congratulations, dear. Congrats. So how are you going to be going to school? Are you going to be on campus or off campus? Eh, so you, you'll be going to school from home every day. <laughs> my friend, I'm happy for you. Congratulations, dear. Congratulations. Hey. <laughs> I know, I know. I thank God for you. I thank God for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, dear. Bye. Congrats. Hey, in the later dating. <laughs> Bosse and I took jam at the same time. Her guardian has helped her to secure an admission. But look at me. My guardian refused to pursue my admission despite the fact that I scored very high. What am I still doing here? Is it not better to go than to stay here where they don't appreciate me? I have to go. I can't stay here any longer. I have to go. Laura, good afternoon, Laura, Auntie. Auntie. Auntie, my darling. You're welcome, Auntie. Thank you. Auntie, I passed my jump. I made 340. Oh my god. For real? Yes, Auntie. That's good. Thank you, Auntie. What do you want to study? Law. I actually want to be a human. Shut up. Who cares what you want to be? And for your information, your jump score is useless. I'm not ready to enroll into an university yet. Cynthia, what? please stop. We discussed this before she took the jump. And you agreed to enroll her in the university if she passes her jump. Adu, could you come here to see me or to discuss about my house help? Of course I'm here to see you. Good. Then let's discuss and leave her issues. And you? Are you done with your house chores? So what the hell are you still doing there? You get lost! And hey, hey, hey! Get me that juice I bought yesterday, the one in the fridge. Uh, hi, darling. You're looking cute still. How are you doing? You. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Cynthia. <laughs> what? I think you're too harsh on Flora. Oh, please, she's my house help. And I'll treat her whatever way I didn't fit, okay? okay. Your favorite juice. Bring it here. You want to study all my foot. Ah, you love it. I just don't understand why my madame is this wicked. She's very wicked. Why can she not just grant me this opportunity to go to the university? Morning and night, I sleep, I work, I do everything just to make her happy from morning till night. But she will not even appreciate it. Is it fair? Is it fair? Oh my God. Don't worry about that girl. She's in my house, so I'll treat her any way I like, okay? So how have you been? Fine. Whoa! 
not. Cheer up, please. <laughs> Here. She didn't even get a glass for me. Oh, I'm sick and tired of that girl. <laughs> And that's how oh I opened this package. I realized it was fake hair. Like, how the hell did I pay for fake hair? <laughs> it wasn't funny, but... <sighs> what is it? I don't... What, what's the matter? Are, are you okay? What's the matter? Oh, Jesus Christ! What, what, what is it? I don't know the matter. <laughs> what, what is it? What, what happened to you? Jesus! Is that not Auntie Adugo's voice? God. I do go, I do go. What's 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 Just like that, I watched my best friend die right in front of me, and I couldn't do anything to save her. Babe, babe, oh my there was nothing you could do. Don't beat yourself up. You tried your best. You tried to save her. What else you could do? She was fine. And the girl was doing good until she drank the juice. What? What what juice? I I asked Flora to serve her the juice I got the previous day. Wait, wait, wait. So you mean Ada <laughs> drank juice in our house before she died? Yes. <laughs> wait, could could it be that the, the, the juice was adulterated? That's that's what you're telling me. No. I I, I got it from the shopping mall. And you know, the company supplied directly to them. So I don't think they'll sell an adulterated juice. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Oh baby, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe she drank something somewhere or ate something before she came to the house. But know. listen to me, listen to me. Do not tell anybody that she drank juice in our house before she died. Okay? Do not tell anybody, otherwise they'll hold you as prime suspect. Yes, I'm serious. I'll hold you as prime suspect. Huh? Yes. Please. Huh? Don't let anybody know that she drank juice in this house. Who's that? Huh? What do you want? Huh? Ma, the police are here to see you. I hope you didn't tell them anything. 
No, sir, I didn't. Okay, good. Do not say a word to them about anything that happened in this house. Okay? Okay, go. Tell them we're coming. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God, darling, hey, police. Listen, 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 it's okay. Just talk to the police. Tell them that she came here and she, 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 as she was talking, you know, she fell off and yeah. you tried to help her. But okay. you even took her to the hospital, but okay. she still died, okay? Don't tell them that you gave her juice in this house. Okay. No, no, no juice. No juice. No juice. Okay. Okay? Okay, no juice. Okay. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Good Hello. afternoon, madam. Hello. How may we help you? Help you? I am Detective Maria. Okay. And this is my colleague, Detective Stanley. We are here to see Mrs. Cynthia Daniels. Um, Mrs. Cynthia Daniels, I hope there's no problem. Oh, um, no. We just want to have a chat with you. Okay. okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. No, not at all. Um, madam, I suppose you were the one who took the late Miss Adugo to the hospital, right? Yes, she came to visit me and then we were discussing when suddenly she started screaming. Why did she scream? She said something about her tummy hurting her. Did you offer her, I mean, anything when she came here? Oh, no, I didn't. I mean, it was just a few minutes into our discussion. She started screaming and then vomiting blood. Did she tell you if perhaps she went somewhere else before coming down here? Um, I don't remember her mentioning anything like that to me. What was your relationship with the deceased? She was my best friend. <laughs> okay, madam. Um, do you know if she has any issues with anyone? No, I don't think so. I mean, Aduko was a very loving and caring human being, and she avoided trouble at all costs. Okay. And madam, were you the only one at home the day she came? Oh no, my my housemaid was around with me. Okay. That will be all for now. Yeah, I hope so. Because uh, my wife is very stressed right now. She yeah. needs to rest. Yeah, that's so. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. It's okay, madam. Just have to manage it the way it is. Um, do you think uh, our teacher is telling us the truth? I think she's hiding something. I think she's just being careful so that she wouldn't get implicated. I just know she's withholding some information from us. I may be wrong though. She looks so pale. I think she's still mourning her best friend's death. Detective Stan, looks come very deceptive. Mm -hmm. Do you think she has a hand in Nanda's demise? Maybe, maybe not. We just have to find out, okay? Let's so go nice. do some stuff in the office. Of course. These days, what happened? Nothing. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. Look at you, you've lost weight. 
it's just that my guardian angel, and the other is she's dead. What? <laughs> when? How? I don't know. She came to the house and I heard her screaming. My mother rushed her to the hospital, but she did not make it. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that very good lady that always takes very good care of you. I don't know what I'm going to do without her. Now everything will be worse. My madam is going to kill me now that it's... Dada is no mm -mm. more. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nothing will happen, okay? Just count on me on anything. It's okay, stop crying. You know you're like a sister I never had. What are we friends for? Thank it's you. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> Where are you going to? I'm going to buy something. Let's go, let me see. So, okay. Oh, it's a tip stand. Sorry. A moment. Let's go get it together. Um, the absolute result is finally out. I smell foul play. Have a look at it. Poisoning? Who must have poisoned her? I don't think Mr. Cynthia Daniel was totally being honest with us. We need to invite her for further questioning. Was she not the to us that she did not offer the disease anything? Was it the disease have gone somewhere else and had something before coming to our house? I'm not really happy, okay? But I think it's possible she must have taken something at Mr. Cynthia Daniel's place. You don't think so? We need to find out the truth. We really need to find out the truth. My Oga and Madame are not around. They went out. Actually, we came to see you. Miss Laura, Sir. where were you the day you let Miss Adrubo came here? I was around. I was at home. What was your relationship with the disease? She was like a guardian angel to me. She always looked out for me. In fact, she was the one that made sure I went to the secondary school. And she was trying to convince my madame to enroll me in the university before her demise. It's all right. Don't cry. You really need to help us find her here. She will be happy wherever she is if you could help get her justice. Hakila. Was she killed? Yes, she was. You see, the autopsy revealed that there was poison in her system. Flora, tell us, what happened that day? I was telling Auntie Ada about my jam score that I passed in flying colors and she was very, very happy. As we were talking, my madam walked in and told me not to bother, that she was not going to enroll me in any university. And the other was trying to plead with her. My madam got angry and asked me to leave. Then as I was leaving, she called me back and asked me to get the pack of juice she bought the day before for the other. Um, so, was it just a pack of juice or you got the juice from the carton? No, no, it was just one pack of juice. We have lots of juice in the fridge, but that particular pack of juice was bought the previous day by my madam. Um, but please, why are you asking me all these questions? We are just investigating the case, okay? So. Tell us, 
What happened afterwards? I mean, after you've served her the juice. Um, I went back to the kitchen. After a while, I heard a very loud scream. So I ran out. Only to find her on the floor, screaming, holding her stomach. She was even vomiting blood. My madam was so scared. We're all, you know, trying to save her. But I don't understand. What has all this got to do with Auntie Ada's death? That'll be all for now. We might still draw by for further questioning. Okay? Okay, ma. Okay, sir. Make sure you do all your chores, everything, before you taste any food. Okay? Okay, ma. I'm off to the boutique. Okay. We have a search warrant to search this house. But I don't have a hand in a dad's death. You won't find anything. Madam, step aside. Everywhere, okay? I mean, everywhere. Okay, ma'am. Detective, you won't find anything. I don't have a hand in this. Madam, please, let's do our job, all right? Please be careful with the closet, okay? Madam, please allow us to do our job, okay? This is just a waste of all our time. Have you found something? Okay. Oh. Madam, are you a nurse or something? all this who detective Stan yes. what kind of substance is this what's this what is that what's that <laughs> no detective that's not mine, okay? I don't know how it got there, into my bag. It's not for me. Oh, really? Yes, really. Um, we shall drop it at the lab unit. Yeah, sure. Uh, they will check. Yeah. Mrs. Cynthia Daniels, you will need to come with us to the police station, okay? For further questioning. Oh, no, 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 detective. I swear to you, that substance right there is not mine. Madam. I don't know how it got there. It is not for me. Madam, move. Madam, please move. Detective, you have to believe me. Now, Madam, move. 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 Oh, I can't imagine. Excuse me, ma. Please, where are you taking my madam to? 
So I call my husband and tell him I've been arrested. Arrested? Please, 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 sir. My madam is innocent, please. I beg you. We found something in her room that looks like poison. She needs to come with us to the station. If we find out it has nothing to do with late Miss Adastet, then we will let her. Oh, no, ma, no. No, ma. My madam cannot kill Miss Ada. They were best friends. Madam, move. Oh, move. Oh. Auntie, Auntie, sir, please, please, please. Move. Madam is innocent, please. Please. Oh, God. What is this? What is this now? Hello, sir. Sir, the police just left here now. They took Madame away. Yes. She. Yes. They took her to the station. Now, 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 sir. Now, now. Okay, sir. Okay. <laughs> Sir. You said the police took my wife away. Yes, sir. Why? Sir, they just came here and started searching. And then the woman came out and said she saw something that looks like poison. Poison? Yes, sir. What are they talking about? Sir, I don't know. I really don't know. But let me get to that conversation. Are you sure of what you are saying? Sir, everything I told you, that's how it happened, sir. Yeah. Open the gate, open the gate. Open the gate. Officer, listen to me. You need to grant my wife help. She can always come for questioning from the house. It's not a big deal. I'm afraid, Mr. Daniels, I can't. Your wife is our prime suspect. And the substance we found in her bag is suspected to be the poison that killed her best friend. Come on, how do you explain that? Come on, that's suspicion. This is not facts. The woman is innocent. You know that. That's why we have sent a sample of substance to the lab. Okay? You have confirmed that she's actually innocent. We're going to release her. But for now, she has to remain here. Look, uh, look uh, my wife needs to go home. You, you need to free my wife. This is not fair. This is totally wrong. The woman is innocent. Free the woman. Let her never go home. Her family needs her. Mr. Daniel, let us do our job. Good day. Huh. Sir, where is Madame? Huh. Madame is not back. Ah, sir, when will you release Madame now? When is she coming back? I don't know. Oh, okay, no problem. Hi. Sir. Questions. Did you tell them anything? They only asked me what happened the day Miss Ada came here, and I told them. What did you tell them? I told them that I heard a very loud scream. Uh -huh. So I ran out here and I saw Auntie Ada on the floor, screaming, holding her stomach and vomiting blood. What? Did you tell them that, your madam? Offered her juice to drink when she came here. Ah, yes. What? I told them. Ah! Yes. Ayla! Ayla! Ah! 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 Ah!
Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Idiot. Get, 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 get out. Come, 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 come here. If anything happens to my wife, if anything happens to my wife, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Sir, I was only trying to help. Why are you going to help yourself? Sorry, help your sir. life. Idiot. I just, I just knew it. I knew, I knew. I knew she, she, she did something stupid. Why did you poison her drink? I didn't poison her drink. You can ask my housemaid. She was the one who brought the drink. And I opened it in her presence. Why did you tell her to bring the ones she brought the previous day when there were others in the fridge? How did, you, how did you know? Who told you that? Who else? We questioned your house help. Will you ask her the question? I didn't poison her drink. I, I, I told her to bring that particular juice because that was Ada's favorite juice. You have to believe me, detective. I have nothing to do with her death. I'm innocent. Please. Please. You lied to us. You told us that you never offered her anything at all. I, 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 I forgot. I mean, I was shaken by her death. You know how these things are. I'm sorry about that. Please. You were shaken by her death. Come on. The substance was found in your bag. Actually, it was confirmed to be the same poison that killed your best friend. How do you explain that? I, I didn't kill my best friend. I didn't oh. poison. I, I don't know how it got there. Please. I'm innocent in all of this. Please, you have to believe me. I put it to you that you killed your best friend. You didn't kill my best friend, please. Who could believe me? Hold on, hold on. Her. Tell me, what's your reason? I didn't kill her. I had no reason to kill my best friend. Don't you understand me? Someone in your place believe me. I didn't kill her. I'm innocent. Please. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I can see you're not ready to talk. Your case will be charged to the court soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sergeant! Oh. No, no, no. Sergeant! Take her away! Please, please, please. I, I, I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. Wait. I'm innocent. Detective Stan. Hello? Hello, Detective Maria. How has your day been? Very hectic. Has. She owned up to the crime? I mean, Mrs. Daniels. Nah. She insists she's innocent. If truly she killed her friend, why would she leave the poison in her bag? And why did she take Miss Aduko to the hospital? Forget that one, Jerry. Remember she lied to us. She told us that she never offered her anything in the first place. And um, she never thought we were going to search her house. Also, didn't you see the way she actually hid the poison, I mean, and the injections in an old bag? But what if it's someone else that kept it there? Remember, she shares the room with her husband. I think, I think you're really making a point. Yeah, yeah. Um, what if actually her husband actually killed Miss Ada? Enough to cover up his track. But come on. Why would he want to kill Miss his wife's best friend? And why would he want to do it in his house? I don't know. I'm just saying it's possible. It wasn't her that kept it there. Sure. I'm gonna find that out. Thank you.
Good morning, Ma. Yeah, good morning. You're welcome, Ma. Thank you. Uh, are you the only one at home? Yes, Ma. Good. Ma, please, when are you releasing my madam? Sit. Well, it all depends on your cooperation. Okay, ma. What was your dad's relationship with the disease? Ah. Re relationship? Please, what kind of relationship do you mean, ma? I mean, have you seen them interacted before? <laughs> yes. They talk and interact very well. Mm -hmm. They are very friendly. You know, even one day I I noticed they were arguing and my madam walked in on them. Then she started suspecting that they, they were dating. Yeah. Yes, ma. They talk. Tell me exactly how it happened. Um, okay. One day I was in the kitchen when I heard my ogre and Auntie Ada arguing. Hey, where are you going? Listen, promise me you will not tell your friend about this. If you don't stop, I will tell her. You shut up. I paid you a whole lot of money to keep your mouth shut. You had no right to terminate it without, without my consent. You should. Tell you what first. <laughs> um, I'm talking to her about this friend of mine who wants to date her and you know what, she's starting something with him and I'm, I'm telling her she should let me know first, you know? <laughs> Ask my, at least my consent. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. yeah, right. Is she supposed to ask your permission before dating your friend? Uh, no, but this friend of mine, I think it's not good for her and I don't want your friend getting hurt. I'm just, you know, <laughs> protecting your interests. Okay, ladies. Uh, I don't know what's going on between you and my husband. Nothing. Why will I have anything to do with your husband? <laughs> Ada, you know I'm a very jealous and unforgiving person. You know that, right? So if I ever find out that you have anything to do with my husband, <laughs> oh, God help you, Ada. You will pay for it dearly. I promise you that. Do you think they were having an affair? Affair? No, no, ma. Auntie Ada can never stoop so low to date her best friend's husband. Mm. Ah, no, ma. I don't think so. Okay, thanks. That'll be all for now. Okay. Is that it, Stanley? I think I now understand the possible reason why Mr. Cynthia killed the late Miss Adam. It seems she suspected they were having an affair. Is that enough reason to kill her? From the fact I gathered, I think she's a very jealous woman. You know, Daniel denied having anything to do with the late Miss Adam. but. Flora actually saw them arguing and when Mrs. Cynthia walked in and she actually threatened to kill the late Miss Ada if she finds out she has anything or any affair at all with her husband. You see, I think she found out and decided to strike. But the question is, why would she want to kill Miss Adugo in her own house? I think she was blinded by rage and jealousy. And seriously, she didn't even think about the repercussion. It's really unbecoming, you know. So, so has that. Yeah, it's okay, ma. Yeah. I know you're angry that I've not been checking up on you. You know school has been hectic, you won't pay me. Don't worry, I, I understand. I know. I know how hectic school can be. Thank you. You're looking way better. Mm. How have you been holding up? 
<laughs> my sister. I've just been here. My tormentor has not been around now. You know she has been detained, so. Hmm. Don't you think she's paying for all the things she did to you? <sighs> I don't even know. And tomorrow is actually the final court proceedings. I am actually supposed to be a witness tomorrow. So what are you going to do? What are you going to say? I don't know. I, my boss even said I should just say that I cannot remember anything that happened that day. Why? I don't know. That's what he said I should do. I don't know. So are you going to say that? Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'll just say it. If that will make them release my madam. Let me just say it. Let her come back home. What can I do? It's okay. But I, I want... wish you good luck. Thank you. What's the last prize now? Uh, 400 last. Uh-uh. Ah, Madam 400. 3, 1,000. So, are you ready for this? Yes, sir. No, oh, you don't have to worry about it, huh? You just tell them that your madam did not offer Ada any juice to drink. Please. Eh? Tell them, in fact, you don't even remember anything. You, you were completely mistaken. Eh? Just tell them like that. All right? No problem. You know we have to bring your madam home. Madam is not guilty of anything. She didn't do anything now. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay? Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Just listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Okay? Okay, so let's go. Flora. Flora. Let's go now. Flora, come. come, on, come on. What is going on, you know? Why, why, why are you fainting this time now? Ah, ah. Do you have to faint this time? Flora. Flora. Wake up now. Wait, 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 wait. What's with this now? Before the end of today, the judge will give his verdict and my auntie's fate will be sealed. Should I be happy or sad? Actually, I ought to be happy, but I don't know if I'm really happy or not. You want to know why? Ride with me. Here, go buy the diesel now. Okay. Take a bike so you can come back as soon as possible. Alright? Okay. Okay. Hi, I did go. How are you? I'm fine. Hi, How are you? Uh -huh. This is the young girl I told you about. She's very respectful and disciplined. Do you enjoy her? Okay, if you say mm. so. I'm counting on your work. Uh, don't you trust me again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's very intelligent as well. Uh, she wishes to go to school. Please, my friend. Please. And divorce starts for you too. Please, okay. I beg you. That's not a problem. Okay. I'll do that, okay? All right. No <laughs> problems. Okay. I want to be on my way now. Um, so soon. Yeah, please. I'll come in and take something. Oh, a glass no, no, of no, juice. No, no. no, I'm okay. I'll come back. Are you sure? Of course I will. Please do. You don't have missed you so uh. much. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Take All care. Right, take care. Oh, yeah. oh. Go in. Uh, how are you? What's that your name? My name is Flora, ma. Oh, Flora. 
not be as good as she said. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You see this house? It has to be sparkling clean at all times. I don't want to see any dirt or dust anywhere. No problem. Understood? Yes. Okay, come in. Let me show you your room. Are you done with your chores? Yes, ma. I finished everything. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Is this meat I'm seeing in your food? Yes, ma. How did you take meat from my pot? I'm sorry, ma. I, I didn't know I was not supposed to take You didn't know what? You what? You didn't know what? I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. Please, I, I did not know that I was not supposed you to. You didn't know what? You f***ed! Oh, my God! 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 I'm sorry, I ma. I my mate! I'm sorry, ma. Please, ma. Can you imagine? How many minutes? I'm sorry, ma. Please, How dare you? I've not eaten it yet. I will return it, ma. Please, I swear I've not eaten it. It's only this one I took. I swear I will return it now, now, ma. Please. Oh, yeah, return it. Ma. You tried it the next time. Oh, you have the guts to open my pot and take meat? Can you imagine? I'm sorry, my please. Forgive me, my please. Will you return it? Yes, ma'am. I'm doing so. What do I want to do, my please? Stupid fool. I'm sorry, ma. And it's big meat. For that matter. I'll return it now, ma. Please, ma. Stupid goat. Sorry. Hey. She's in her room, sir. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hey, hey. Sir. What happened to your face? What happened to your face? Nothing, sir. Nothing? Yes, sir. Come <gasps> What's wrong? What happened to your hand? What happened to you? Who did this to you? Who? Are you not talking? Who did this to you? If you don't talk, I will descend on you, right? It's madam. You, madam? Why? Because I took meat. Sir, I swear, I did not know that I was not supposed to take meat. If I had known, I wouldn't have taken That's meat. That's bullshit! What? You took meat? Yes. And she beat you like this? Ah. Hey, I'm in trouble. So this double trouble for me. Hey! Cynthia! 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 Why did you hit Flora like that? Because you took me from the pot? Why are you shouting at me? Answer me! So she came to report me to you, right? Nobody reported you to me. I saw her. I saw her face, her hands. They are swollen, Cynthia! They are swollen! How I treat my house girl is none of your business. It's my business what happens to every single person in this house. It's my business because this is my house and I'm responsible for the well-being of every single person in this house. Why would you be a girl, brutalize a girl who cooks for you? Who, who, who does your chores? What kind of woman are you? Did you come to fight me here because of her? Did you? Huh? Please. I never knew you were that heartless. I'm sorry for you. You know what, Daniel? I think I've heard enough. I've heard That's enough. Excuse me. You heard enough? I'm finished. Who said? What kind of? Did I beg him? Am I complaining? What kind of? This woman will kill me today. You heard enough? She will kill my life. You brutalize a girl. You tell me you heard enough? What's, what, what kind of woman is that? Where is that girl? Ah. Where is that stupid girl? <gasps> Flora! Mm. Oh, you have the guts to report it to my husband. No, no, no. Right? I swear you, I did you. No, 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 no
Daniel, what did you say that happened to her? I, I, I think she hit her head on the, the, the protector or something. I don't, I don't know what really happened, but uh, you know, I came and met her. She had passed out. So the iron protector also gave her the marks that is all over her body? What are, you, what are you talking about? What, what marks are you talking about? You see, <coughs> Daniel, that girl is a victim of abuse. And it's so obvious. I mean, all of her body is full of wounds, red marks, and virtually everywhere swollen. See, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know who's responsible. But whoever that is abusing her, she better stop it. So, uh, how is she doing? Uh, we've been able to make her regain consciousness and um, we'll watch her throughout the night. And maybe, by God's grace, we'll discharge her in the morning. I, I really appreciate this. Thank you, thank you, my friend. It's all right. You're welcome. Thank you. Laura. Okay. Cynthia, the doctor noticed that this girl has been abused constantly. 
I tried to cover up. I lied that she hit her head on the protector or something, but Philip didn't believe me. Well, thank you for covering for me. It's not a matter of thank you. Cynthia, do not lay your hands on this girl again. I'm serious. Okay, I've heard you. No problem. Um, Flora, please go prepare lunch. As you can see, I've not eaten anything since morning. What? Um, okay, stand there. What kind of person are you? This girl is just from the hospital. She hasn't recovered yet. We are sending her to go and prepare lunch for you. Okay. Go and prepare lunch for me. No, no, don't stand there. Go, go, go. go to your room and rest. Okay, sir. Go back to the kitchen and stop. Go to your room and rest. Go back to the kitchen and stop. Go to your room and rest. Are you dead? Go to your room and rest. Go to your room and rest. Don't, 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 don't enter that kitchen. Oh. Pass here. Go to your room and rest. No, stop. Go to your room. What is that? Are you dead? Don't, don't, don't believe it. That has been my ordeal. But to tell you the truth, I have suffered worse. But that is a story for another day. So, back to the matter. My auntie, aka my tormentor's case will be decided today. Would she be sentenced to jail? Is she, is she really innocent? Oh, but why would my auntie want to kill her best friend? Proceedings. Shut up. You caused it. You caused it. If you hadn't fainted, your stupid fainting, you would have been there to testify. And my wife would not have been sentenced to lifetime in prison. <sighs> but that's what you wanted, right? What? You caused it! You! I asked you just do one simple thing. Just, just go with me and testify. What? But no, you chose to faint, right? God, Madame was found guilty. <laughs> God. Oh. 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 God. <laughs> Where you go with that bag? Huh? Eh? I they go now. I they, I they go home. I they go my house. I, I, I have told Oga that I cannot stay here any longer. Madame that I came to serve is in jail. What am I doing here? Wait, Please, wait, 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 I beg, make it wait. So you won't leave only me for this compound to come out? Eh? See, I beg, make you not go anywhere. Eh? Stay here, make me and you stay for this place. Miku, as I sue you for this compound, I they happy for mine. Oh? Make me and you stay here as what? Well. Now me and you follow come here. Uh, no, we send me and you follow come. 
But because of saying me, I they see you every day. Me, I they happy. Now I make the beg you say make you stay. You should not go anywhere. Eh? I beg eh, Okoro. I know no this one way they talk. I don't they go. Which one say make I come here? They make you happy. How I want to make you happy? Which one be that one? If you want to stay, stay. Me, I am going. Madam, no day. Who I want to serve? You, they serve a No problem. Bye bye. Madam, Flora. Don't, Madam, they jail. Which are they? So you don't go. Leave me. Leave me for here. Me, Joe. Hey. I am from Jorin. You know me to know Munda. I will leave without coming again. Eh? So now, so this girl won't leave me for this company come out. Because let me come there for here. Eh? So what I will come to leave my gentleman work and they do a, a kitchen work. Where are you coming from? This way. Okay. Alpha how now? Um, Alpha with the court case. And how is your madam? My madam was found guilty. What? I thought she was innocent. It depends on what you mean by innocent. Flora. Why do I feel like you're, you're contented? You kind of broke your madam in. What are you talking about? Please, oh, I don't know what you're saying. What are you saying? I could remember when she burnt you with hot iron. You vowed to deal with her. Well, well, that, that was just me talk or nothing. I, I, of course, it's, I, I was just angry, you know. Flora. What? Don't forget who you're talking to. I know you. You're too intelligent and smart for your own good. Really? Yes. Am I? Yes. So spill. So you made the police arrest your madam even when you knew she was innocent? <laughs> innocent. It depends on what you mean by innocent. But if your madam didn't kill Auntie Ada, who did? Auntie Ada was so loving and sweet. Who would want her dead? Some things are not always the way they seem. You know what? I wanted to keep this to myself, but you're being very inquisitive. So I will tell you, but you must promise not to tell anyone. Promise. Promise. I promise. Be sure you don't tell anybody. Okay. It all started like this. Um, Flora. Ma'am. I'm going for night vigil. Okay. So make sure you give Oga food when he comes back. Okay. All right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, take care of the house. All right. Bye-bye, <clears throat> Finally, at least I can even have some peace. I'm so tired. No, sir, I'm sorry, sir. No, sir, no, sir. Why, why are you sleeping in my house this time? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I won't do it again, sir. I was tired. Is this your, 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 your father's house? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Welcome, sir. Where is my wife? Sir, she has gone for night video. Ah, you gone for night, uh, night video? Yes, sir. Oh. Sorry, sir. Sir, 
what is it? What is what? Hey. Come here. Sir, sir. Come to ah. me. Come, come, come. Ah, no, sir, no, sir, sir, please. This is wrong. Ah. This is wrong. What, sir. Do you, what do you do about wrong? No, right? no, no, no. Ah. Hey, sir, no, no. Ah. Ah. Sir, come. please. Um, I'm sorry for what happened last night. I mean, I was I was drunk. I didn't I didn't mean to. I just want to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. I I just want to go. I said I'm sorry. No. You're not sorry. No, you're not sorry. You and your wife have abused and molested me enough. Just let me go. I, I can't stay here anymore. I don't want to be here. You listen to me. You should be grateful to us for feeding you, for clothing you, for giving you a shelter, and even sending you to school. So shut up and be grateful. Ain't great. No. You did not send me to school. After all the promises you made to me in the hospital bed, you still didn't do anything about it. I wouldn't have completed my secondary school education if not for Auntie Ada. And I paid her every single time. But she was the one that made the effort. So? You know what? I will not have you talk to me like this in my house, okay? This is the very last time you open your mouth and you talk to me like this. I want to go home. Ingrid, I want to go home. What home do you have to go to? Village girl, want to go back to the village? Sit in the city and have a life. <laughs> Flora, ma, where's your auntie? Um, she said she was going to buy something. I'm sure she should be on her way. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Do you know why I asked your madam to send you to my place? She said um, you would give me some things to bring for her. I will give you some things for her, but I just use that for a cover-up. I want you to terminate this pregnancy. I will take you to a very qualified doctor. Oh, no, ma. Auntie, please, I cannot do this. I may lose my life. Nothing will happen to you. Trust me. I don't want to kill an innocent child. He's not a child yet. It's still blood. Yes, but this blood is still turned to a child, ma. Please, auntie, I know that my madam will kill me if she finds out. Just help me escape. Help me run away. I just want to run away from their house. They won't see me again. Nobody will know her. Please, auntie. What do you want me to tell your mother? I convinced her to let you stay with my friend. And her husband molested you and put you in a family way. I will explain to my mother. I will tell her that it is not your fault in any way. She will be heartbroken. I will take you to the hospital and run a test on you first to make sure you're truly pregnant. Then the doctor will prescribe something for you. Auntie, please, I don't want to do this. Please, I beg you. I don't want to. Please. I'm sorry. I can't let you ruin my best friend's marriage. You have to wait for the result. It doesn't take time. Okay. Please, I'm coming. Thank you. Please. Kindly reconsider if the result comes out positive. Please, I beg you, I'll, I'll just go. I will leave and I will never come back, I promise you. You don't get it. 
Letting you have the baby is like betraying my best friend. If the pregnancy belonged to another, I would have considered. So you want me to report to your madam, eh? No, Auntie, please, please don't report me. I beg you. Okay. Please. Since you refused to terminate it medically, I have traditional medicine for you. Now, take it. Take it. Auntie, what is this? Drink it and stop asking me stupid questions. It up. What's that? Oh. Finish oh. it. You have to finish it for it to work. Oh. Doctor, I hope she'll be okay. Um, I told you to let her have pregnancy. She went ahead and made her terminate it. Doctor, I, uh, Doctor, she's 18. I don't want her future damaged. But now you've succeeded in damaging her. What are you talking about, Doctor? You see, the bleeding was too much. The abortion affected her womb. We have to remove it. If not, she would have bled to death. Don't so. tell me. Does that mean she can't give birth for life? I'm sorry, yes. never told me that I would never give birth and she never apologized did your madam find out no I still don't know how auntie Ada did it she had to convince my madam that I needed to stay back at the hospital because the doctor needed to monitor me since I had this unusual menstrual cramp I am so sorry about your experience it must have been so horrible Horrible. Horrible is an understatement. I live every day knowing that my baby was killed and I will never be able to have another one. You see, I am a damaged flower. No, you're not. A miracle can still happen. A miracle? Do I believe in miracle? No. I only believe in justice. So I give mine. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what you heard. I hated Antiada so much after that incident. Anytime she smiled at me, I remembered her cruelty. I lost my womb and my baby because of her and she never told me. She never apologized. She just went on as if nothing happened. So I, 
I decided to pay her back. And no. I hope that's not what I'm thinking. On the day Auntie Ada came to the house, the day she died, I knew she was going to come. So I... So it's been you all along, yet you cried more than the bereaved. She ruined my life. I wanted justice. And since I knew nobody was going to give it to me, I had to get it myself. I devised a way to get justice. So why didn't you tell me all this why? So you can try to dissuade me or try to convince me not to take matters into my own hands? Sorry. I got justice that I deserved, although I got it in a crooked form, but I got the justice I wanted. I know you were wronged. But you went too far. Why didn't you report to the authorities? Why didn't you try forgiveness? In trying to revenge, you become worse than those that hurt you. You do not know the kind of pain I have gone through. You do not understand what I went through. You live with your guardian who loves you and adores you. They treat you like their own daughter. You don't understand what I have been through, so don't you stand there and judge me. I'm sorry for all you went through. I wish I could take it away. What are you sorry about exactly? Sorry about the incessant beatings? Or the insult? Or is it the fact that I was brutally raped every other night? I thought it was once when he was drunk. He raped me every other night. Even after Auntie Ada confronted him, he didn't stop. Instead, he told me that he had paid Auntie Ada for damages. He did not stop. You mean he went as far as bribing Auntie Ada? Just to keep quiet? Ah, the man is evil. He must pay for his evil deeds someday. <laughs> He's paying. Yes. <laughs> He's paying already. What do you mean? His wife's sentence? No, he's actually resting in hell as we speak. You're speaking in parables. I'm leaving. Don't look for me. Bye. Wait, Flora, wait where are you going to? Flora! Alcohol. Come like that for granted like this. Eh? Like person where they give free drink for party. Hey! And this girl look on the flower. Who should don't leave me come off for here? Eh? Who will come to take care of this man now? How will take the control of this thing now? Oga? Oga? Ha! You sleep, don't, 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 don't go far. Ah! Wait, oh! 
Who do? Make you not be waiting at the thing so. Eh? What did I go do? What did I go do? See as my uncle don't kill himself. Ah! Dr. Stan, I think this is a case of suicide. Still wondering why he took his life. Hmm. Maybe it's oppression. You know, his wife was recently sentenced to life imprisonment. This is so pathetic. Poor woman. I wonder how she's going to feel when she hears about her husband's demise. I don't care how she feels. The rule of law will take its course. Oh, all right. Okay, I think I need to call an ambulance right now, okay? Oh, that place already fall. Yes! Mm. That's Mr. Daniel now. Hey, uh, ah, this poor man. The man is very nice. The man is so nice. Ah, life, eh? I heard he committed suicide. Suicide? Ah. Oh. So this was what she meant when she said he was already in hell. Ah. How would they ever know the innocent Flora is behind the predicament of these three. And how was she able to make her august death look like a suicide? Wow. She's indeed a smart girl. Some people would say that I would have waited for karma to befall them. Really? Is there such thing like karma? No, I don't think so. Some would say I would have reported to the authorities. I'm just a maid and they are rich. The case would be swept under the carpet. Some would say I went too far. Did I? For me, even though I'm far from having peace of mind, I'm okay knowing that those who ruined my life are suffering worse things. My name is Flora Marvin, and I am not sorry for what I've done. Yeah. Time and says it. What have I seen today? 
It's all there but time and season Whatever you face it today We'll not be there forever Whatever you face it today We'll not be there forever You make me cry today Never to cry again Make me weep today Never to weep tomorrow 